Hey man, what's up with it, man? Y'all know what time it is. Say, listen, I'm just sitting back, relaxing, man. Uh, doing my thing. But listen, man. Uh, I want everybody to come subscribe to this channel, man. This is gonna be the unbelievable prison stories that's gonna be told on this channel, man. We got a lot of things that we need to talk about, right? And uh, like I said, man, I want to talk about a lot of things, man. When I say a lot of things, man. I want to talk about a lot of things, man. And, uh, because it's a lot of things that's not being talked about, man. With me doing so much time in prison, I've done 18 years. I've done, I've done 18 years from TYC straight to the, straight to the joint, man. You hear me? So, I got an opportunity to see a lot of things that people don't really speak about, you know? And, and it's like, man, when I first went to the joint, man, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all like this, bro. When I first went to the joints, man, nigga, I got butterflies in my stomach because of all the things that you hear about prison, seeing them on the movies, seeing them on TV. You like, you just think this is like barbarian school, right? Uh, so what I did was when I went in there, I went in there with a mindset. I went in prison with a mindset. My mindset I always was, I'ma survive. I'ma survive. I'ma make it home. Now, I might not make it home in 5, 10, 15, 20, but I'm gonna make it home, homie. Cause I'ma do what I gotta do to survive, and I'ma do what I gotta do to make it home, homie. So I always had my mind made up when I went inside the institution at the age of 17. At the age of 17, I went, I was sent to the to the gladiator form, homie. I was sent to a gladiator form where, man, uh, and that gladiator form was Ferguson Unit, homie. And this is in the 90s where it was still so much going on now, though, man. You had people that were still caught up into, man, these boys were caught up into really trying to, they was, they, they was caught up into breaking you. They was caught up into uh, the homosexuality, homie. They was caught up into... You know, extortion. They was called, I mean, it, that, that was like, that was the thing to do. That was the thing to do down there, homie. So, when I went down there, homie, I came out there realizing that, man, listen, one, I ain't no follower, homie. I lead. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not, I, I stand on my own two feet, homie. You know what I'm saying? When I say I lead, homie, don't. Don't take that the wrong way and start thinking, oh man, that nigga say he goddamn me lead. Nigga, what I said is, nigga, I was a leader, so I never was a follower, so I never got caught up in a lot of shit that a lot of people got caught up into, and I can really speak about that. I never got caught up into the, into the, uh, you know, messing with the boys. Now, I never got caught up into that, homie. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't my game, you know? Uh, I I stayed away from the boy game, man, because I still had my morals, homie. You know, and I still I still didn't like to take advantage of people, but I'm a, I'm a always gonna stand up. I just said my mind wasn't caught up in taking advantage of people, man. But down there, it's all about the strong, and they gonna take advantage of the weak. You weak, you get eight, or you go get plucked. That's just how it was, homie. When it come down to get money, man, I had money, man. I wasn't worried about money, man. My my commissary, man, my commissary stayed fat. My book stayed fat. You hear me? I used to put money on other people's books to go to commissary, man. When I used to be on restriction, so I never had. I never, I never went through the process of, oh, uh, you know, I ain't never go through that process of the money situations. But it was a lot of guys down there that didn't have no money. So when you, when you in the, when you in the belly of the beast with a lot of guys, uh, they don't have nothing, homie. They don't have nothing. Man, they been so goddamn fucked up out there, man, to where they mama don't send them money, they dad, they ain't got nothing, homie. So they survive is. I got to survive on the inside. By all means necessary. I seen it all. 
At that time, Ferguson had like three, like three protective custody blocks. Protective custody blocks was blocks where if you was, you know, if you was, if you was, if you was, you know, kind of like, you know, you know what I'm talking about, gay. They put you on these blocks. When they put you on these blocks, right? Everybody over there, they like the same thing. They like the same thing. It was, we call it the punk block. So, it was a lot of straight guys that was tough. And they were falling out of place. They was up to my B ball were getting caught out of place during count time. Uh, it was a lot of these boys that, man, they were gone behind that. They was really, 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 really gone behind that lifestyle, homie. And uh, you had a lot of players out there too, homie. So that's why I say I don't want to forget, you know, my guys that were players that knew how to conversate, that knew how to make the female officers bring in the past the sex. Uh, that knew how to make the female officers bust it wide open. That knew how to make the female officers do what they say. So, hey, man, listen. So, with that being said, I'm going to say this here. So, with that being said, that, man, it's a lot that went on behind the walls. Squabbling just was an art, man. Squabbling was an art, man. You know, we used to just squabble just because, man. We used to, man, man, I'm talking about, we used to just squabble just because, man, because it's just like, man, we all frustrated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, let's go out here and do this. So that was my thing. My thing was, man, you know, in a lot of my squabbling, I'm, I'm basketball, you know, uh, or we got to go ahead and just push that line. You know, we push that line, we gonna go ahead and do our thing. But one thing I never liked it to do was jump on people, homie. I never liked it that, homie. Uh, I, I used to always try to save people, homie. But, but if you fuck up, my thing was, damn, homie, get off the motherfucking block now, go. I used to try to tell them niggas, man, get off the goddamn block because if you don't, Man, you know when they gotta send them dogs on you, man. They gotta send them dogs on you, so man, I'm telling you. So, you know, and, and sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't work. So, nigga, you know, so you know how it go, man. But I learned so much, man, by going through that phrase, man. But it's so many stories that, that can be told when it come down to the prison lifestyle. You know, it's a lot of stories, man. And and there's a lot of people that's in the that's in the free world that really want to know, like, damn. And they want to ask questions. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to start my whole show about this prison, the prison stories, the unbelievable prison stories. And we're going to have a conversation. We're going to go down through that. And uh, I want y'all to tune in, man. I want y'all to really tune in, man. It's going to be a great show, man. Just give y'all a nice introduction, man. Let y'all know that, man, it's going to be a great show. So I need everybody to go over there right now to the unbelievable prison story. Let's and I, and I want y'all to hear some of the some of the head busting. Yeah, let's uh, not not just hey not just when you know the guards. I'm talking about when the officers had to bust. You know how the officers were busting the inmates' head. How the inmates were busting the officers' head. How inmates were busting each other' head. How. And, and down here where we was at, and I'm speaking about where I did time at, like in, where Ferguson, I'm going to speak about that. And then, you know, I went to Ellis and Vito, but it was different. On each, on each one of them, it was different. But how, you know, we were so segregated. You got essays over there. You got blacks over there. Uh, the whites over there. You know what I'm saying? How we were so separated. Uh, what else, man? I just want we gonna talk about 
a lot of things, homie. We gonna talk about a lot of things, man. We gonna talk about a lot of things, man. Uh, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna give y'all some, some, uh, a visuals on some of the things that went on on the inside that a lot of people that really can't break down. Some can, but some of them just have really went into depth. You know what I'm saying? With a lot of things, but there's a lot of things that goes on when you doing time behind the walls. Uh, but I'm just, like I said, I'm in Texas prison. Uh, I have been to every prison in Texas. Every prison in Texas are not the same. Let's get that understood. Uh, so we gonna have people coming on that's uh, that's been on different units. How they operated, what they done. Uh, different cities, different states. Uh, I want y'all to come in, man. I want y'all to come in and break down how it was when y'all was at. You know what I'm saying? Real authentic content, man. Uh, keep your lies to yourself, man. Keep your lies to yourself, man. Everybody ain't the toughest in the world, man. And I let and that just keep it real, man. But with that being said, homie, I just want to say, man, I appreciate everybody, you know what I'm saying, for tapping in. But make sure y'all go down there, push that button right there, man. And y'all go over there and subscribe, man, right now, man. Because I'm going to start dropping a lot of content right now, man. I got a story I want to tell y'all about when I first, when I first had sex with a female officer in prison. I'm going to drop it over there on the unbelievable stories. When I first had it, when I first had sex with a female officer, uh, I'm going I'm to I'm drop that, man. I want y'all to go over there and check it out, man. Uh, I'm going to drop high. Well, I'm going to drop that one soon. I'm going to drop that with ASAP. You know what I'm saying? And then we got a lot more we're going to drop, man. So, man, with that being said, man, I want y'all to tune in. Stay tuned in. Much love and respect, man. Salute to everybody. Man, like I just say, man, now let's keep on going, man. Let's keep this thing pushing. So, with that being said, man, unbelievable prison stories right there. Go tell me. Let's get this thing to a thousand so we can make this thing monetized so it can make sense that way.